so dear students today i am going to discuss with you seven top jobs 2025 onwards so of course when in india it comes to top jobs it comes to union public service commission civil services ias ip etc there is a common exam administrative services police services foreign services i uh, iits custom services so many around 30 to 35 services of course to prepare that <coughs> even the engineering subjects are also there that subject you can take it and many many engineers crack this exam either by taking the engineering electives or non engineering electives and the preparation require at least one one year and one year of exam prelims mains and then interview so it requires solid two years of stay continuously in touch with the competitive examination let us say some people drop after one or two attempts even if you are not able to through but the preparation is such that you will be a gentleman because if you have knowledge you will be a sober person so always when, when the student ask me uh, why we are studying for money to earn money no to get knowledge because knowledge makes you sober e let us say even if you are not able to make up money but still you be a level headed person there are many many uh, classmates of mine i was a university topper but there are many many students 100 10 111th rank they are earning much more than me they are in the middle, middle east but i am not worried about it i especially i am happy because whatever knowledge i have gained it gives me a broader perspective so the top job in india is always a upsc exam and it is considered as one of the toughest exam in the world but i feel average or slightly above average students require two years to crack it i cracked it in 1998 without any assistance there was no coaching institute at that time then uh, comes uh, public sector uh, undertakings through gate and non gate like iocl bpcl gale ongc they pay heavy amount sometime even 24 to 25 lakhs it there is a heavy job uh, heavy paying job uh, for example like gale ongc there are some type of job let us say 15 days you are working and 15 days you are with the family they are on the well on that rig of course they are uh, these jobs are paid heavily and there is a lot of job satisfaction if there is a plant job it's a only daytime job so uh, second best job i will say in india are public sector undertakings and these people recruit through gate and some of the public sector undertakings they recruit without gate uh, gate also now that number 3 comes the state service examinations up public service commission telangana tspsc mppsc so their exams are considered to be more reputed Uh, because uh, all these three especially first and third there is a social stigma attached to it oh the class one or class two officer is coming so everybody uh, used to get up like presently is ka elections are going on so the uh, the candidates even the prime minister he is putting the papers in front of ias officers so there is lot of especially if you go to north india especially number one and number three there is lot of social status so people don't want money they want to get into these services so these are the two top three services now number four comes the ai of course there are many many people they may criticize ai but in next 20 years 2000 of course the uh, uh, the flow already started but 2025 onwards ai is going to take a driver seat especially ai in the healthcare like i will tell you that suppose there is a hip replacement of any patient only two types of his hips are available and 90% patient will uh, any one of those hips will be fitted but now suppose 10% patient if none of the hip fits then the ai comes into picture then metal 3d printing so a lot of ai needs to be explored in the healthcare now similarly the bioinformatics like mind heart lungs kidney and our, all our nervous system how these things are in, interconnected so bio in that this area is called bioinformatics now if the ai is being explored in this a uh, lot of 
benefit will be there for human kind, human kind. So AI, if you are expert in artificial intelligence related things, that is the future. But doesn't mean that everybody should leave everything and get into the AI. That is not my intention. <clears throat> but those who are having some interest in AI, along with some engineering, then I am telling you there is a future in that. Now, next highest, one of the highest paying job is a piping software. Especially South India and Chennai, there are many, many companies, they offer training in the piping software. What exactly piping does? Now, development of draft plans, you do by the piping softwares. Drawing process plants, construction of heavy plants or let us say dismantling the plants. Who does it basically on that the planning stage, the piping software. Now, commercial building, if you see a lot of malls are coming out in practically every city. City will be small, but you will see big structure malls are coming because people will, will like to see the air conditioner and big, big shops. And also multi-story building, like this uh, Burj Khalifa and all these big, big tall building. In the background, at the initial stage, who does the design part? It's the piping software. So there are a lot of high paying jobs in the piping if you learn it. Now the sixth is the electric and the solar vehicles. Now you can see that in the future, few next 20 years, there, are, there is going to be a lot of research in electric and solar vehicles. Electric vehicle, the problem people are facing is there is a lithium ion battery and there, between anode and cathode there is a membrane. And the membrane temperature we have to keep it 90 degrees centigrade. If the temperature is more than 90 degrees, everything will, uh, it will catch fire. So there is a reason you, you must be seeing that the charging takes around 8 hours, 9 hours, 10 hours because the moment temperature is 90 degrees, charging is cut off. So a lot of people are working to modernize these batteries. Why not solid state batteries? People are already working on it. And once it's a solid state battery, charging can be done within one hour and you know, uh, range can be increased to 1000 kilometers. So a lot of revolution you can expect in the solar and the electrical industry. So if you are trying to uh, build your career, this is one of the better option. Recently, some of the universities, they have uh, opened MTech program in e-mobility. So it's not a bad choice to opt for this, those programs. Now, the seventh uh, you know, area which you, where you can have you know, shining career is industry management. I will give you some example. Let us say there are transportation. There is a big company, companies having 20 to 30 warehouses, different um, um, factories and different customers. So there are um, industry managers that decreases the transportation cost because they make the programming. That in mechanical engineering, there is something called operations research, linear programming, uh, um, uh, transportation assignment sequencing. You make a programming out of it. And by programming, you help the industry to reduce the transportation cost, to reduce the machining cost. So uh, there is, it's a new, uh, already existing uh, area, but it is also emerging. So 2025 onwards for approximately seven to eight years, these seven areas are going to be top as far as the status is concerned and also the money is concerned. Thank you.